A health care initiatives on show at an annual Singapore General Hospital event include a study on how artificial intelligence can be used in its emergency department to better predict the type of care that is needed. Sabrina Ng has all the details. You start to do some cough. <coughs> Reducing respiratory complications for patients after they have gone through a weight loss procedure. We realised quite a number of patients after bariatric surgery or patients, they needed the most oxygen. About 70% of the patients after this type of surgery need oxygen. The improved post-op routine starts with getting them to do some deep breathing exercises okay. and gargling with a special solution. They will also be propped up at an angle. SGH says this simple process has helped cut oxygen usage by around an hour. This reduces the hospital's costs by about $1,000 per patient and... It's quite significant for, you know, currently the big crunch in the hospital. If we can discharge the patient early, even four to five hours, I think it's made a big difference. The hospital is also looking into the feasibility of using AI. The model will be used in a clinical trial at its emergency department. It is studying how to tap a patient's data to assess if they're at risk of death or safe to be discharged. We saw about the patient's clinical status. The other variables that comes in, the patient's social status, the patient's social support, uh, and also uh, uh, what are the past medical history the patient has. The aim is to, as we come up with better data-driven variables for us, we are hoping that we can reduce this variability as much as possible. All right? Of course, it, must, it will augment the clinician. It cannot take over the clinician uh, at all. This year's two-day event attracted nearly 220 submissions from the SGH campus. Advancements in technology have revolutionized the way we deliver care. They've, it's enabled us to meet our patients' changing needs, to address challenges posed by the combination of an aging population and a shrinking workforce. And we have to continue to find ways, search for new ways to leverage on technologies, to explore care models that need to adapt, care models that change, and so keeping our healthcare accessible, affordable, and sustainable. Dr. Puttucheri adds that prioritizing preventive care and working with community partners are other ways to improve the overall health of Singaporeans.